Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to the next installation of the weapon series. I need to throw up a huge caveat on this video. This is an alpha weapon within an alpha game being pre-tested in the PTU. That's about as unreliable as it gets. I believe that the weapon isn't behaving completely as intended. The weapon stats and what I'm seeing don't really make sense. In spite of that, I feel that it's very important to get the word out about this new weapon. It might even be adjusted just before 2.4 goes live. The Ammon and Reese Pyroburst Plasma Shotgun. This is the first ship weapon from that company, and it's been described as a ship version of the man portable electric shotgun that we've had for a month or two. I had a pretty good idea what it would do to a ship, but I was actually still shocked when I saw it work for myself. It was exactly what you would expect from this type of weapon. A point blank weapon with devastating damage per second if you can get close enough. They're currently available only in the PTU store and they cost zero UEC. This weapon stands alone all by itself as the only weapon of its category, the lowly ship scatter gun. In the future, I can see this weapon being available in all sizes, however, right now, we only have size 3. It's not currently the default weapon on any ship and I can't see that changing in the near future. Based on what I read and an evening of testing, here's what I feel you need to know. The weapon's a size 3, right now it's only available in the PTU and it costs zero dollars. It has a rate of fire 40, a range of 1500, a velocity of 1000, it does physical damage in the order 41 per shot, and distortion damage in the rating of 120. This is the first weapon that I know of that hits two different types of damage. So according to the stats, the weapon should be able to fire 1500 meters. But because the projectile, for lack of a better word, explodes, I was unable to use it beyond about 175. I'm totally sure that this weapon isn't behaving like it was intended and that it's going to get fixed soon. As expected, this weapon does a disturbing 858 points of damage per second. Mounting four of them on a saber would net you a total of 3432 DPS, but that'll probably get balanced and you need to hit perfect. Mounting four of these onto a saber turned it into a bloody death machine. The AI and swarm were turned to dust in one clean shot. Once the range is fixed, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be seeing a lot of this weapon in PvP. The weapon has a fairly low velocity, so the pip does need some concentration. They're really fun to test, but I don't think I'd personally use them competitively, at least not as my first choice. They're a little bit hard to use compared to other weapons, but I'm sure that they're going to be devastating in the hands of a good pilot. And that's it. I'll keep you up to date when there's changes in the future. I hope you liked my no bullshit approach and got something out of this video. I'm going to push size 4 weapons as soon as 2.4 goes live. I was having trouble getting the video out because 2.3 prevented me from mounting them. I'm currently having an epic giveaway of 20 HCS voice packs that come with voice attack. Please like and subscribe to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. Please take some time to check out my other content. Thanks, and I'll see you in the verse.